Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen. And today I just wanna share with you just a couple of quick patterns that I got from the recent Simplicity sale on simplicity.com. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So I'm starting my list with Simplicity 9945. This is the new Mimi G pattern. It's a dress and a jumpsuit. So she's modeling the black one or the black jumpsuit and then the dress is in like that lavender color and it has that same open back as simplicity 9597 which i just wore last week um, while i was on vacation so if you look at the line illustration right there you'll see that it's kind of that similar button feature um the only difference honestly is that it does kind of have those um cutouts that go into the sides so um, and I also like that it's a v-neck as well. So I thought that that was really, really nice. Not sure if I will have time to get to this this month specifically or even next month, but I really do like this pattern and you guys know where I live. It'll be hot until November, so I have some time to make this. Then I also got Simplicity 9949. I've actually talked about this in a previous um, video talking about like the um, wedding guest patterns. Um, I really, really like this dress. Um, I talked about how it curves in the back, that line illustration. Not really sure if you guys can see that or not. But, um, and then it's also got pockets, princess seams and, um, and whatnot. And then it looks like it's held together on the neckline by two buttons and then an invisible zipper in the back. Um, this looks like this takes quite a bit of fabric and it absolutely does. So dress B, which is the longest length, um, takes about anywhere between five to seven and a half yards, depending on how much fabric, whether it's 45 inches or 60 inches of fabric that you may have. All right. So this one I was obsessed with when I first saw it. This is Simplicity 9974. And this is actually... Um, a costume pattern but I really like this corset with the skirt like just for regular wear is that is that wrong or wild but <laughs> um this is by Maddie or Madeline and I actually started watching um, a couple of her videos about this pattern and she kept calling it a fashion corset and her reasoning was because this is for fashion and not necessarily for an undergarment or for shapewear, which I thought was actually very interesting that there was um, an actual difference, which makes total sense. But I just hadn't thought about it that way because I don't have a lot of experiences with corsets. And of course, I want to get into this um, a little bit more. This was actually making corsets or making a corset was something that was on my make nine list for this year. So um I say all that to say that maybe this is the course that I get into, but I love that V, which is kind of like a trend right now, like that V in the front. Um, and then of course the little tie loops in the back and on the front as well. So lots of great things that I really, really like about this dress. I also got Simplicity 9946. This is another Mimi G pattern. Now this pattern has got a cutout in the front and it's got kind of like a waistband just below that cutout um but it's got either a v-neck or a scoop neck so there's a couple of different variations that you can do with this which i also really like and then view a on the back has a cross crisscross in the back and then view b is a whole back so that was another interesting feature that i thought was really cool is that there's a lot of really great options for the front or the back with this uh with this dress so yeah all right, and then I also picked up Simplicity 9958. This I really like. Um, I'm kind of nervous about the keyhole in the front and whatnot for the blouse, but I, I like the peplum. I like that it's got a few different straps. I think that that's really interesting. And then the skirt is gathered kind of at the lower waistline or maybe a lower hip line is probably a better way to say it. But I thought this was really great. Um, if I were to make this, I think I would probably have to hack off a good six inches so that it would fit me maybe just below the knee or mid calf um, how it's fitting the model here but i thought this was really great um, and i like that these can actually be worn separately so if i wanted to make the top and pair it with a different bottom like maybe pants or something like that this is definitely one of those patterns where that is possible 
So this one I'm really, really, really excited about. And I have nowhere to wear this, but um, I really like this pattern. This is Butterick 6939. It's an oldie but goodie in a lot of ways. Um, this is not a new vintage pattern. And this is um, obviously a vintage pattern that is a reproduction. So I'm kind of like late to the party on multiple fronts. But um, I really like this because it's got the detachable skirt. It's like a 1950s play suit. And it looks like you can either make the play suit like the body of it to be long. Or if you wanted to do um, a crop top, you can. And yep, that's exactly right. So view A is the full jumpsuit and view b is if you wanted to do crop with c being the shorts and then d being that very full skirt that you see on the front um so again something i'm really excited about and we'll see if i have time to make this um, i'm adding this to the list for my birthday outfit so who knows but <laughs> we'll see um but yeah i'm really taken in by this pattern Simplicity 9951. Now, I love this flowy top. Um, I love that it's an empire line. So, like, I know for me, um, you know, I have, like, a little bit of, like, a stomach pudge, especially after I've having, had, like, a great big old meal. And so I love me a flowy empire waist top because I feel like I can just really be free in it. And um, I like that it also has, like, that tie in the back. I think that's kind of sexy. And I also, I had talked about this in another um, video, but I, once again, do think that it can be extended to be a full length dress, which I also think would make for a really, really nice bathing suit cover up or just something cute to wear to the beach. All right, and then I picked up Simplicity 9956. Um, I just love how casual these pants are and I like that you can color block them or like maybe color blocking is not the right word. Maybe you can like, color block the stripe I don't know but <laughs> I like that it's contrasting so it looks like the inseam has some contrast to it so do the pockets um heck you can probably even contrast the waistband if you really wanted to but there's just something really casual and relaxed that I like about this and to me that's what the summer is about being like super casual and just kind of wearing you know nice flowy clothes they don't always have to be like super short super low cut sometimes you just need like a relaxing pant and this is what this is for me all right so this is the last pattern on the list this is new look 6782 now this reminds me of a simplicity pattern that i have but what i like the most about this is that this is actually a full length shirt the simplicity pattern is more like a crop shirt so with my bust size i usually have to extend it or make it a little bit longer I don't believe this will be the case with this, but if it is, it is. Um, but this has some ruching on the side. The sleeves, the sleeves are set in, but then there's like a raglan um, detail on the shoulder, which I thought was interesting. And then you've got the skirt, which is super easy to make. So I thought once again, another like kind of relaxing summer look, but also a look that can probably carry you into the fall as well. Like if you wore it with um, maybe some cute boots or like some nice little like not nice but maybe like some really cool sneakers and you can do like the sneaker dress look and make it like even sporty kind of um, I think that you can really take this up or down and pretty far with this design all right you guys I know that was really short and sweet but I just wanted to share those um, those couple of patterns with you guys so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.